Hi, my name is Dr. Taufik Bora and today I come in front of you to discuss an important topic which is uh, discussed very less. Uh, that is uh, TMJ arthritis, degeneration of TMJ along with uh, treated with stem cells. So c considering uh, the process of TMJ arthritis, I'm sure the people are now latched on on the channel by now know what is TMJ arthritis, how does it uh, affect a person's joint. Uh, TMJ arthritis ma majorly is uh, inflammation of the temporomandibular joint which would lead to pain and tenderness in the joint, aching pain around the ear, in and around the ear, difficulty in chewing. Uh, discomfort, locking of the joint, technically a closed lock situation where the patient cannot open the mouth. Stem cells is, uh, you may say that they are basically uh, generic cells of the body. Each and every organ, each and every part is made out from cells. So now stem cells are technically body's raw materials. Okay, uh, These are the progenitor cells, the cells which are formed first and then they divide into specialized cells. Okay, So what one can do is one can harvest stem cells and inject into the temporomandibular joint. What happens eventually is that these stem cells have the power to heal or regenerate or kind of remodel the joint. Uh, they can also be guided uh, into becoming specific cells that can repair and regenerate damaged tissues inside the joint. Stem cell therapy can be considered in juvenile idiopathic arthritis. It works really well in such cases, uh, arthroscopy guided um, stem cell therapy. Patients who have a perforated disc, but the perforation is not that big that you require to perform a discectomy in these patients. You Discectomy is a procedure where you remove the disc and you, then you uh, put in fat over there so that that uh, uh, keeps the joint space open and also leads to formation of the in these uh, patients uh, effectively. Now stem cell, how do you harvest these stem cells? Uh, to harvest the stem cells, the surgeon has to technically uh, take bone marrow aspirate from the hip bone and then it is processed in centrifuge and other machines and other uh, instruments to isolate these stem cells. Now technically when you say stem cells, it does not mean that there is a stem cell concentrate. It is a bone marrow concentrate which also has stem cells in it. It has factors that will promote growth. It will. It has factors that will promote remodeling. These stem cells, when harvested from the hip bone of the patient, is processed and then they are injected inside the joint, and the patient uh, would have uh, improvement in symptoms and in joint morphology. Over the period of time, morphology means uh, the way the joint remodels. That can be uh, what you say. Mm, synergized with the help of stem cell injections however where with respect to your hip from where the stem cell will be harvested there will be pain and discomfort for a few days but it is not uh, something which is very major it's a small procedure you make a small hole and uh, uh, it is aspirated and it's as good as a small injection procedure so Yes, all in all, it is effective, but it is effective in the right hands. So you need to be very uh, mindful of the fact that where you get it done, stem cells, bone marrow concentrate, all these are upcoming uh, procedures. And yes, they do hold merit in management uh, of, from my end, if you ask my opinion on it, it is reserved for my patients who are extremely young, uh, juvenile patients or patients who have got a lot of uh, damage inside the joint and uh, we wish faster recovery in these patients. So that's about stem cells and TMJ arthritis and uh, TMJ surgery. Mm, thank you.